Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> and well caffeinated. So That's probably what you're. What uh? What are you hoping for the LHC to find? Something they didn't expect, to be honest. No idea. You? No idea. <laughs> yeah. Michael Eric. I'm zooming in on your face. What do you hope to do? Let's see what we'll find. Nothing that can hurt me all the way Slack is still going to be in Hello. Hello. This is our, uh, our part of our Corknet group. I'm down. And the party begins. And the party begins. There's pajamas abound here. Well, thank you for coming and sharing this very special. to work in um, particle physics research or was it something that happened along the way? Something that happened along the way. How did you start off? Like, <laughs> I, so I did my PhD in nuclear physics. In nuclear physics? Yeah. Low end, it's called a nuclear, low energy nuclear physics. And then I guess opportunity showed up and I became a particle physicist after, after many years. I can. Questions? What are you hoping that they're going to find once they launch the LHC meeting? What's going to be found at the LHC? It's like a moving Fifty percent of me says maybe there will be a Higgs, but the other fifty percent would not be unhappy if there will be no Higgs. That would be a great invention. Because if, if there's a Higgs, then then we say the standard model is more or less a validation of the standard model. And if there's no Higgs, which is also a good thing, then there will be more jobs. <laughs> and we have to look elsewhere. Yeah. Thank you for answering yeah, Thank you. Tell me when. Okay, go. <laughs> My name is Mike Fortner. Okay. And what's your role here at Fermilab? I actually appear in part wearing three yeah. different hats. One, I am a state representative. I represent Fermilab, and there are communities right around Fermilab in the Illinois State Legislature. Secondly, I am a professor of physics at Northern Illinois University, which is about 30 miles west of here. Thirdly, I've been an active user means I'm one of the guys who come in and work on experiments here. And I've worked on one of the big collider experiments called the D0 experiment for the last 21 years. What's um, the D0 experiment? The D0 experiment is one of the large collider experiments. Uh -huh. Much like when they talk about ATLAS and CMS, the two big experiments that are focused on at the LHC, the two big experiments here are CDF and D0. They're both designed be able to operate using the maximum power, the highest energy, highest luminosities that here at the Tevatron can deliver to take a wide variety of experiments. We don't look for just one thing, much like the Hubble Space Telescope. It doesn't just take a picture of one star. It's able to look around at different things and has different cameras to tell what's going on. Our experiments have different types of detectors built in them to try to study different properties that go on at the subatomic level. Um, one last question. What do you hope that the LHC accelerator reveals? Well, I think that for me, what I'm hoping it can do is, is kind of continue to push the bounds. What we're doing here at the Tevatron is look at the highest possible energies, and with higher energies, that gives us our ability to more finely dissect what goes on. Much like with a microscope, the more powerful the microscope, the smaller you can see. This is a proton microscope, and it's using protons to look inside of other protons and actually see the structure that's inside of them. And then from that internal structure, hopefully we can learn about the fundamental forces of nature. Do you think there's a Higgs boson? If there isn't, there has to be something that 
takes its place in does mass. There must be some reason some things are mass as opposed to just pure energy. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you know what? They've done it in under an hour. It's fantastic. It's beyond expectations. Better than lab, although Robert Amar said there is no, no reason to compete with lab. <laughs> Let's focus on this. Okay. Oh, what, what's your name? My name is Young Kim. Oh, what's your role in the lab? Oh, I'm, a, I'm deputy director of Perm Lab. So you heard uh, yeah, per, the Peter O'Donnell, who is the uh, director. I'm deputy director, so I'm second in command in this laboratory. Something uh, unknown, something that we haven't really thought of. Uh, you know, we have so far, we have many tools, like we have a Tevatron, an accelerator going on here. There are many other tools that we do study. So we have a pretty good sort of ways of understanding all the phenomena. But uh, if you really make a, a sort of more complete, true theory, we haven't been there yet. Just the things that uh, we based on the phenomena that we have uh, reserved so far, we have uh, seen so far with all these tools, um, the, the, the answer uh, is not yet satisfactory. Yeah. People are saying that should the Higgs boson be tested on the God particle, that physics, looking together, the study of quantum physics, as we know it, will be solved and there will be no more mysteries. Do you buy that? No, not at all. That's just the beginning. There's a lot of uh, things to be done. And, and uh, beyond LSC, we probably need even more powerful machines to go later questions. So this is the one step. But there will be many more steps. Don't worry, there will be plenty of things for you to do. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I guess, you know, throw a little promo in there for Fortnite. Thank you. This is my dream country. It's Take like, you know, head. I'm going to Fermi Lab. It's like I won the Super Bowl or something. So we're here with uh, Darren Wood. And uh, can you tell us what you do for jobs? So, I'm a professor at Northeastern University of Physics, but I'm currently spending a couple of years here at, at Fermilab as a spokesperson, one of the co-spokespersons of one of the um, two big collider experiments, the D0 experiment, uh, which is running now at what is, for the next few minutes, the highest high energy collider in the world. And uh, what does the D0 do? So, what, what we do is uh, we look at collisions of protons and antiprotons at about uh, an energy of about 2 TeV, which is compared to the LHC is about, about a factor of 7 times smaller, but, but uh, as I said, is at this moment is still the highest energy uh, beams in the world, and so we're looking at, similar to Atlas and CMS, whatever we can find in these collisions looking for new types of interactions, looking for new particles. We just found a new particle announced last week, uh, the um, omega B baryon, one of the new um, particle made of three quarks. Okay, so as a final question, what is your favorite quark? Uh, what is my favorite quark? I guess the top quark, yeah. It was, I, I signed one of the papers that discovered the top quark, so oh, wow. it has a special place in my heart. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. All right. Someone else do some giving Love